Good day to everyone. I'm Matt Watamad and welcome to our video of Great Bait Farm. For the next video, we're going to show you our 6 proven aquaponic system by me. Okay? So first, this is the fish tank. This is our 1,200 liter capacity fish tank. And now we will introduce our red tilapia. Our red tilapia has been acclimatizing in the fish tank for about 10 minutes now. So it's important to acclimatize your fish because the water inside the plastic bag and the water in, in the fish tank should be equal in temperature and in pH. If there are any slight difference in temperature and pH, the fish might get stressed and might get affected by the sudden change of environment. So now we introduce a little water from the fish tank into the plastic, about 50%. Then we slowly release our fingernails. Okay? So make sure all the fingernails are outside the plastic bag. Make sure there are no fingernails left inside. Okay? So now we can place this plastic bag into the recycling bin. Okay? Now the tilapias are now happily swimming inside our fish tank. So the, the, tila, the tilapia will produce waste when we feed them. So we feed them with high protein feed. So this is an example of the feeds. So we feed the tilapia. Now they are stressed. They are at the bottom later on. When they see the feeds, they will start feeding on the on the pellets. Okay. So the tilapia will convert the feeds into usable uh, nitrates for the plants. So here we have our gravel grow bed. This is an example of a seedling. We will wash the roots of the seedling. Okay. And then using a hand trowel, we will dig into the gravel and then add our seedling, okay? And then slowly close the gravel, okay? Make sure it's level. So the gravel only serves as a foundation for our eggplant seedling. So the gravel bed has an inlet out, out there and then it has an outlet here. The outlet is a bell siphon. So this is a bell siphon. Let's get the bell inside. Okay. So this is the bell of the bell siphon. And then it exits back to the fish tank. Now the fish tank has a solid lifting outlet over there. The solid lifting outlet sucks in the waste or the sludge from the bottom of the fish tank and delivers it to our filter over here. So this is our filter. So this is the radial flow part of the filter. So we have a cone here that prevents the water from exiting to the next stage. So this cone diverts the sludge to the bottom of our radial flow filter and lets the water pass through the second stage. So we have a drain here, a maintenance drain, that we can drain in case we need to clean the radial flow filter. So this is the second stage is a brush filter and then another brush filter and then another brush filter, and then a, a, a media bed filter or a, mo a moving bed bioreactor. So the aeration provided in the MBBR creates the swirling or it creates the movement for the media. So let's zoom in on the media. So the media is bubbling inside our moving bed filter. Okay, so then it exits to our floating raft row bed over here. 
So in our floating raft, in our floating raft, we have uh, netto seedlings with, uh, inside net pots and has pumice as the media. So as you can see, the roots are very clean because we have filtration. And these are all floating. So let's return the netos. These are all floating on a styrofoam raft. So there's no soil there, it's all water, as you can see. Okay? Then to the next floating raft, and then to the next one, and then to the next one, okay? And then to the last floating raft over there. So let's zoom in on the last floating raft. This one is the sump, okay? So the last floating raft contains our pump over there. Can you zoom in on the pump? So that's the pump. Let's remove the raft so you can see the pump. So that's a very small pump, very low wattage, and it can power a system up to 10 grow beds. Then the pump delivers the water back to our gravel bed over there and back to our fish tank below there. So again, if you want to learn more about aquaponics, we have monthly seminars in PASIC. And we have a Facebook page, Modular Aquaponics, and our YouTube channel, Madodo. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Again, thank you for watching.